Germany's Nebra Sky Disk reevaluated turns out to be not so old. In 1999, unauthorized treasure hunters in Ziggerode Forest, Saxony-Anhalt, Germany, using a metal detector, found the Nebra Sky Disk, a bronze disk just over 11 inches in diameter, weighing about 4 pounds. It's covered with a bluish-green patina and illustrates the night sky with stars and other heavenly bodies in gold. For such a small thing, it's aroused a remarkable amount of controversy since it was turned over to the German authorities. According to AncientOrigins.net, the disk has caused controversy since day one. Originally, it was believed to be a forgery because of an essay by P. Schauer, but it's been proven that the artifact is genuinely historical. Dating the object, however, has proved problematic. The stories given to the authorities by the looters as to where it was found don't add up. They reported it was found in a hoard along with two swords, two axes, two spiral arm rings, and a bronze chisel. When examined, the soil samples from the hoard artifacts were different from what was found on the disk. During the initial testing phase, scientists thought the disk was buried in about 1600 BC and could be much older. Many believed the disk was a sort of portable star map that showed the solstices. Astronomer Ralph Hansen upholds the view that the disk was an attempt to coordinate the solar and lunar calendars to instruct the ancient people when to plant and trade. Astronomer Kurt Rosland from Gothenburg, Sweden disagrees. He believed it was not an instrument of measurement, but simply a tool for symbolic rituals. Rosland and Amelia Pastor, an astronomer from Hungary, did a study in 2007 and stated that the stars were not in the correct places to represent a true image of the nighttime sky. There is a representation of the Pleiades as a group of seven stars, and it's a known fact that the ancients used these stars to calculate the solar year. The biggest problem in dating the Nebra sky disk is that the looters did not follow any type of archaeological standards during the excavation and actually broke an edge when they tried to wrench it out of the ground. With different stories from the looters and one even changing his story, little credence can be given to their information. Tests done to the two axes found in the hoard show that one axe and the chisel do not fit in the same time period as the rest of the objects, further discrediting the looter's stories. The image shows stars, crescent moon, and a sun or full moon. Scientists can't even agree on that as state archaeologist Harold Meller believed it's the sun while other astronomers believe it's a full moon, as the disk represents the night sky. Rupert Gebhardt, director of archaeology Staatsmlung Muchen, and professor in pre-proto-history at Munich University, and Rudiger Krauss, professor of pre- and proto-history at Frankfurt AM University, have recently done a more modern analysis of the disk using methods not available in 1999. It's their determination that the Nebra Sky disk is about 1,000 years earlier than previously thought and puts it into the time frame of the Iron Age rather than the Bronze Age, according to their research paper at dguf.de. Again, their findings were disputed by archaeologists at the Saxony Anhalt State Museum for Prehistory in Hale, who believe the artifact was part of the hoard and accompanied to Deputy State Archaeologist Alfred Reichenberger. Gebhardt and Krauss are ignoring important publications and quoting only those facts that seem useful to underline their theory. After the looters got their hands on the disc, they sold it on the black market for about $42,000 and then it was resold for about $600,000. The police caught wind of the transaction and seized the artifact in 2002.